Hey guys, good to see you. This week I want to talk about realistic, believable makeup. I've been looking on YouTube for videos for makeup for mature skin, mature women. Uh, most of those women look like they're 45 to me. That's not that old since I just turned 70. But I wanted to show you what I believe is easy to do, believable makeup that you can wear to work, that when you're standing in front of someone saying, hi, how are you? They're not going, what is on your face? Because a lot of those makeup videos have very heavy makeup, very heavy foundation, contouring, excessive eyes, lashes, and all. I don't have time for all that. But I do like to look nice when I go out or when I'm out and about with people because of my salons. And actually, if you don't know, if you go to facevaluesalon.com, that's my salons. I have two of them. And I do a lot of bridal hair and makeup, which also gives me the opportunity to work on mothers of brides and grooms. And they have mature skin. So I've had to learn how to do the hooded eye, since also I have that myself. And I've had to learn how to do uh, minimalist kind of makeup, but that makes a difference for photography. We're not talking about being in a studio under lights. We're talking about being at an event where people are coming up so close to you and saying, hi, how are you? And you're saying, thank you for, oh, I'm so happy to see you. And if they say you look nice, you know you do, instead of them whispering behind your back, look, she looks like she's got on a kabuki mask, you know? So this makeup is for that. Um, let's talk real quick, and I'll get into this further, but for today, skincare. If your skin is not exfoliated properly, I don't care what you spend on your makeup base, Chanel, whatever, it's not going to sit well. You've got to have your skin smooth as can be, prepped as possible. This will help you with lines on your face and everything. Uh, it just makes a huge difference. So you need to know about that. And you can use Biore makes a really good baking powder scrub for your face that you can use in the shower. You don't want to scrub like you're heading to China but you do want to exfoliate that skin so that any skin care product you put on works. It can get down and do its job. If not, you've got too many layers of dead skin for it to try and go through. Having said that, also, it doesn't matter how much money you spend on skin care if you do not use it faithfully. That's really important because I've been known to buy something like from modeling I took off so many false lashes, my lashes are very thin, and there are several products on the market that can work for that, but you better do them every night. And if you don't do them every night, then what's the good of it? So you really gotta be diligent in taking care of your skin. I like the fact that I don't have a lot of lines, my, uh, la my lids aren't very crepey, which is good, but I wanna, I wanna stop aging as much as I can. You notice today too, I have on a higher collar. <laughs> As you all know, I'm a little bit embarrassed about my neck, but whatever, uh, that's another story. But anyway, I'm gonna start in just a few moments. I'm gonna go remove all my makeup, and then we're gonna start from there, and you'll see my skin from skin out, what I do, what I use, and what it looks like. And you'll just see whether you think that's good or not. You can let me know. Okay, I'll see you in a few minutes. All right, here I am, no makeup. As you can see, my skin, I have pretty good skin. Let me get in here a little bit. But I am 70. But watch what can happen. I've already put moisturizer on this side of my face. Now I'm gonna do this side. And I'm using an Olay moisturizer right here, which I really like. Now, Here's what I do. I use Instant Age Eraser by Maybelline. Let me see if I can get that right to you. Yes, there it is. And I love the buff beige color because it is a nice color on me. So I use that and put it on. It's quick in the morning. I don't have three hours to do my makeup. Okay, so here we go. Twist it up. And I just kind of put it all around. All right, now, the next thing I do is I use their, it's also a magic eraser. <laughs> well, it's not magic eraser, it's the Maybelline eraser. 
and I love it because you just do that. This is a concealer and I just put this here and here. Bring it up under because I have those old eyes, you know. <laughs> what are you going to do? I have those old eyes, but you notice already that is very helpful. That is very helpful and quick. Another thing, I usually do my eyes next and when you are 65 or older, it's best to stay with matte eyeshadows, matte things on your face. Don't get all carried away unless it's at night and you want some sparkle and that's okay. And see all those colors? They're all matte and I like that. I really do. I always would say to start on your eyes, you're going to take, I usually blend the two lighter colors here, these two colors here, and apply them to my eye. to the lid of my eye, okay? Same thing over here. <laughs> and you can already see, I have a heavy lid. You can see it right here. It's right here, you can see it right here. It's what it is. So then what I do for that is I pick a deeper color. I usually will start with a medium deeper color like this one right here because it's not real, real dark, but it's pretty dark. And then I will take that and I will put it right up in that crease. But see how it starts to make my eyes look better. They look better. They look more open. So I want to just come up here and I'm, here's the rule. It's like art. Dark pushes back, light brings forward. So if you put dark, you're pushing whatever's there back. And believe me, I want to push all that back that I can. Get back. This is a just a gel liner. Maybelline makes them. They're waterproof. They're nice. And I like to do, I use a brush. This was out of a kit. It has a little bend. It helps it get really close because I like to do my eyeliner very, very thin. So I come in and I'm very, very close to the lash line. And I don't need glasses to do this. I mean, I think I've done it so many years. But I also, at the end here, because my eye wants to go down, I, I lift it up just a little. I can see my eyes are starting to come together, which is good. The next thing I do are my eyebrows. This is an Ardell product and it has different colors. And I like to use, let me show you, this particular color here, <coughs> blended a little bit with this one over here, the reddish looking one. And you go on top of your brow, up where you, where your brow should be and you're putting the arch in. Because then you're using that lighter color and you notice how it's forming a brow for me, but it is not like Groucho. But you can see how that frames the eye more. And yet it's not really that heavy. You know, I don't want, I don't, you see a lot of those really heavy brows, but I don't know. I think it looks like you're trying too hard when you're old like me. Like on young girls, I think it looks beautiful, but if I put that heavy penciled looking thing on my face, I feel like it's almost clown-like or something. So I like to do something that looks a little more natural, at least in my mind. And there's that. The next thing I will do is I like to do a lovely blush. Can you see how quickly this is going though? It's not like tons of stuff that you see. But you may say it looks ugly. Whatever, here we go. So we put this on and bring that around, put it on the upper part it's pointing down a little bit. Let's clean that up. You want everything on your face to be going up, up, up and away. You don't want anything dragging your face down. You got enough things, age trying to drag your face down. What another thing that I like to do is I like to take, I actually, because I have my own business, I have private label cosmetics. And uh, I have several, by the way, but this is a great thing and it's called Invisible Oil Blotting Powder. And you can kind of see, and you're watching me, 
you can see the shine on my face. I take a big brush like this, and these brushes, a lot of them are e.l.f. I have a, a whole combination because I have so many brushes. Then what I like to do is, uh, L'Oreal makes a lovely mascara. There are several different ones, and I'm gonna list everything that I use today underneath. But I don't have really <laughs> big lashes, but I like to do something with whatever's up there. So I take this, and I just tap those lashes as they are. That's another thing. I'm never gonna look like those 20-some-year-old girls on those videos, but I can look nice for me. And that's the key, look nice for you. Get your skin polished. Figure out how to do your makeup and feel good about it, you know? When you were older too, I believe you should always use a lip liner. Lips are very important. It really kind of brings it all together. See how it gives them a shape? Here, this is my favorite. You notice how the line doesn't really show on my, <clears throat> on my face? Let's blend a little bit. And everything down. Okay, so there is a quick makeup. It's fast, uh, it's easy, and it means that you can get in and out the door quickly. You notice this didn't take very long at all. And I wanted you all to see that because, again, the other is so hard. It's so hard. I I've seen these incredible makers of these older women <clears throat> where they come and they take and they really fix you and it's lovely and you know these people do this and I, I think it's amazing and I can do that on me too but I don't want to do that every day. So this is quick, it's presentable and I can go out and I look decent and my skin looks good and I don't look like I'm too made up. It's very natural, see my eyes? It's very natural. So that's what I want to show you guys today. So thanks for watching. See you later.